All right, now here is a very interesting feature which Google is adding on the Android 14. Currently, the Android 14 Beta 2 is running on this Pixel device here, and this brand new interesting feature is already working on this device. I'm talking about the drag and drop feature, which is already there on the iOS 16 on the iPhones, is now coming to the Android phones as well. In this video, let's go ahead and take a look at how exactly this drag and drop feature works. And after you finish watching the video, let me know whether you see yourself using this feature in the future or not drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel as well now this drag and drop feature is all about dragging an image or text or the links from one place to another by doing some finger gymnastics let me break it down for you let's go to Google search I will just search some images here now if you want to save this image to the gallery you don't really have to open the image and then press and hold on this image to see the download options and then download it all you need to do is just press and hold on the image in one finger, use the other finger to go to the home screen, open Google Photos and upload it right here. You can also paste this on any other applications which supports this feature. It looks pretty interesting, but practically, I'm not sure whether you guys are going to use this feature or not. Now let's open a web page here. Let me just select some text. Now I'll just press and hold on the text here and drag it, go to the home screen. Let's say I want to paste this on a WhatsApp. I'll open WhatsApp application. I will just drop this text right here and it just gets pasted in a Jiffy. That is just insane, isn't it? Now, if you were to do the same thing in the traditional way, you will just select the text, tap on copy, go home, open WhatsApp, Tap on the text box. You will see the clipboard content right here. Just tap on it to paste it. Now, this is not a difficult thing to do. Now, even these steps are pretty simple, but we'll have to do multiple taps to execute this. Whereas with the new feature, we can just press and hold on the text, drag it, use the other finger to open the application where you want to paste it and just drop it there. Now, this completely depends on you, whether you want to use this new feature or you just want to stick to your traditional way of copying and pasting images and contents. I really want to hear from you guys whether you are going to use this feature if it comes to your Samsung Galaxy phones or your Pixel phones or any other phones that you're using, let me know in the comments section. Now, this feature was already there on the iOS 16. This is not something new. We have already seen it. On the iPhone, it just works seamlessly without any issues. Likewise, even on the Android phone, on this beta version of Android 14, it is working pretty well. Sometimes it doesn't just copy the images onto a note making app or on the WhatsApp. This should get some fix in the future updates, maybe in the next beta or probably on the stable version of Android 14. Now again, I'm not sure whether Samsung phones are going to get this feature or not. It purely depends on Samsung whether they want to add this feature on One UI or not. Let's wait and see that. You let me know if you're a Samsung user. Do you really want to see this feature on Samsung Galaxy phones? Drop a comment. And if you're using any other Android phones, do let me know in the comment section whether this feature is going to be of any use to you or not. That would be interesting to see. Here, another thing to note is on the iPhones, we have this image clipper feature. Just by pressing and holding on the image, we can lift the objects. And the lifted object can be dragged and dropped into the gallery or into a messaging application which is amazing. However, on the Android 14, we don't see this feature, at least for now. Whereas on Samsung, we have already got the object clipper feature. And if Samsung executes this drag and drop feature, they may include dragging and dropping the clipped image as well. Let's wait and see that. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. I hope you are already a subscriber on Apex. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community to know your phone better. And give this video a like if you find this video informational. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.